This Sunday, the 31st of December, is the Feast of the Holy Family. I have this image right here in my office, which I just absolutely love. This image is like my very, very favorite image. I also have it as the image on my, as the screenshot on my cell phone. That's how much I like it. Why do I like it so much? And why does the church uh, dedicate uh, every year after Christmas to the Holy Family? Because we need to remember that Jesus was, yes, he's the savior of the world. Yes, he's king. He is our God, but he becomes a baby and he becomes vulnerable. He's weak, humanly speaking, physically speaking. He needs a mother and he needs a father. And how beautiful that the church celebrates this feast of the Holy Family, because we all, we need a mother, we need a father, we need people that we can love and be loved by. This is the sense of a family. About four years ago now, I had the chance of being in Nazareth, and there in, in Galilee, where the gospel today says how Jesus, when, when he was 12 years old, he went back to Nazareth and he was with his mom and his dad and he was obedient to them. So here we have Jesus, this little boy, within the context of his own family and having to, 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 to be obedient to his mom and to his dad. So let us also learn from this example of Jesus, Mary, and St. Joseph, who lived together in this world uh, as a holy family. Let us imitate their humility, their, their prayer, their silence, their work, and uh, have a wonderful week, and God bless you, and Happy New Year.